This is um, a panel on digital comics. Finally, we we come up with this uh, with this uh, subject, and we are very glad because we are seeing during the last years that uh, the digital into the uh, uh, into the comics is growing and, and growing in, in different markets. Not so much in our market, I would say. Well, um, in first place, Kasayuki Masuda, please, could you present your project? Okay. Uh, he hello, everyone. Um, I'm very glad to uh, be here. Uh, thank you very much for the inv invitation. Uh, actually, it's my first time to be in Madrid. Uh, it was my dream to be here because my wife always working for Biz Media Europe for one year and a half. And uh, from 1985, after my graduate from university, I started working for a Japanese uh, publishing company called Shueisha. Uh, some of you may know uh, the company uh, publishes uh, Japanese manga comics called uh, Dragon Ball, uh, One Piece, Naruto, and so on. And uh, yes, I was a manga comic editor for 26 years till 2011. And at that year, I transferred my position to editorial to a uh, digital comic business department. And uh, I was there in the uh, digital business department for about five years. Today, I would like to show uh, three of uh, manga internet site that I had launched in that five years. Uh, the first uh, internet site is a kind of a digital manga bookstore called Jump Bookstore. And the second one is Margaret Bookstore. And uh, the difference between Jump Bookstore and Margaret Bookstore is Jump Bookstore is for uh, shonen and seinen manga readers. And the uh, Margaret Bookstore is for shoujo manga fan readers. Uh, some of you have a question. Why did you launch two kinds of bookstores? Um, uh, I think... Uh, the first page of each bookstore's top page is very important. It's like uh, uh, the show window of real bookstore. So you can see this jump bookstore is for shonen seinen readers. The readers, uh, almost the readers, is uh, boys and for men, so the design is quite different. The color is used uh, red and black, and it's a kind of a weekly shonen jump world. And on the other hand, the second uh, bookstore, uh, Margaret bookstore, uh, we use a different kind of color, and uh, the color is like pink or light blue. It's a kind of girlish uh, image. So, um, yeah. oh. yes, that that is the second bookstore, Margaret Bookstore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and. Uh, I would like to uh, explain, oh, for example, this Margaret bookstore. Uh, first of all, uh, there are a lot of free trial 
corner and uh, click, could you click the middle of the site if it is possible? Oh, sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, these two bookstores, the top page's image is different, but uh, if you uh, make one ID for yourself, uh, the bookshelf, digital bookshelf is same. So you can buy uh, in Jump Bookstore and also Margaret Bookstore in the same ID bookshelf. So the readers have to make one ID to uh, gather shonen manga and uh, shoujo manga. Mm. And it is like this. And uh, we can uh, have a trial read uh, for each manga. Uh, about 10%. So if the comic is 200 pages, we can try to read free uh, 20 pages for each volume. And uh, ah, can you click the bottom of the bo the bottom? Yes, the. Uh, Will be happen. Oh, it's a sorry. Yes, we, it's we, a yes, it's the sample. And uh, can you? Yes, and uh, we can read. Uh, try free. Try reading like this. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Can we go back to hmm. and Can we go back to the third net uh, jump plus? Yes, uh, first of all, uh, two thousand thirteen and two thousand fourteen, uh, we launched this. Uh, two bookstores, and after that, uh, we thought we have to uh, create some kind of new internet site. And uh, this kind of uh, bookstore uh, is not enough for the movement of the Japanese digital manga world. Uh, so we thought about how to create a new kind of digital manga magazine. So after a one-year trial, uh, we decided to launch this uh, internet manga magazine called Jump Plus. And the difference between the Manga Bookstore and the Jump Plus, uh, Jump Plus has a lot of free manga corner. Not only the sample of the comic books, uh, there is a lot of free manga corner, and some of the manga born from this manga uh, magazine site. Uh, for example, uh, we, Biz Media Europe, uh, published a manga title called Fire Punch. The Fire Punch uh, born from this uh, manga site. So, uh, there is a lot of manga uh, free reading corner, and there's two kinds of uh, manga. One is 
as I said, uh, born in this internet site. So that means a brand new manga. The second manga, free manga is some kind of archive. Uh, so we can see a lot of manga here. Um, almost the manga is uh, original, made from this manga magazine, but yes, there are uh, rookies over this. Rookies is a kind of archive manga called manga. Uh, it born in uh, uh, Weekly Shonen Jump a long time ago, about more than 20 years ago, but uh, sometimes we put these kind of archive manga uh, for about one month or two months, and two months later, we cannot read it anymore. But if the reader would like to read more volumes on this archive manga, you can go to, back to the Jump Bookstore and buy the manga like this. So, uh, these kind of, three kind of uh, manga sites, we have uh, already launched from 2013 to 2015. And at that period, uh, in Japan, uh, Kindle started, iBook Store started, Google Play Book started, and a lot of other uh, digital bookstores started. So now many, many uh, digital bookstores are existing in uh, Japanese uh, digital manga market. And as uh, Yurio said before, uh, the digital uh, sales are really increasing now in Japan. And uh, last year, the sales won the paper book sales. So the digital market uh, situation is really changing and moving. And, uh, but finally, I'd like to say today, um, digital market is not for this for digital uh, book, book market. Uh, I found one of the digital uh, bookstore. Once uh, they put on a free trial uh, manga corner, after that they found the paper book, the paper book sales uh, increased. Mm -hmm. So, um, my policy is digital market and paper book market can coexist because of uh, digital market is not for digital manga uh, sales. It, it is kind of a promotion of paper book market. So now uh, in Japan, uh, yes, as, as you saw uh, b before, uh, the paper book sales is slightly d decreasing, but the digital uh, book sales are increasing. So in the future, I think uh, the total uh, sales will be at least stable, or maybe, maybe I'm an op optimist, <laughs> uh, the sales, total sales will be slightly in increase. But no one, no one no knows about this station. Mm. I couldn't uh, imagine this uh, situation now, uh, 10 years ago. So no one knows the future, but uh, I hope, I hope the digital market will increase in the future and also paper market will be stable or increase. That's uh, all I want to say today. Thank you. Thank you very much, you. Kazuyuki. Uh, now is the um, 
turn of uh, Luc Bourcier. Luc yeah. Bourcier is the CEO of Isneo. I think Isneo is the biggest uh, digital books uh, company in, in Europe. Um, one of the biggest, at least. No, I think we are the le leading one, which doesn't mean we are a big company. Okay. We, are, <laughs> we are very small. This market is still very small, and this, this is um, your, one of your the niche. issues. Yeah, exactly. We are based in Paris. We are a team of 20 people operating in uh, several languages. I won't say here. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So basically, I have uh, 10 minutes to uh, touch about uh, Isneo, and I will tell you uh, two or three words about, uh, about ourselves. And doing so, I will address uh, maybe some of the uh, issues or obstacles or successes of the uh, market, the, this category, I would say, uh, so far. So why are we uh, existing? What are we doing? And there are four answers to that, I believe. The number one is that graphic story make part of the digital entertainment arena. We are, actually, we are uh, uh, talking, and, uh, and I mean dis in discussion with all these guys. We believe that uh, we are fighting for attention. Today, digital uh, users, uh, content users, basically, youngest generation, as we've just uh, seen before, millennials, etc., and youngers, they, 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 are, um, they have the habit of uh, finding their and looking for their entertainment on the smartphone, whether it's for music, video games, or uh, any sort of content. Uh, we are part of that, and we are, again, as I said before, um, uh, in, in conflict with these guys. We are in competition for attention, but we also need to ally with them. We are part of that. Secondly, graphic stories, in my opinion, are not like ebooks. It's a different category. Why is that? It's because, one, you don't need a specific reader to read comic books. You can read on a, on a smartphone or a tablet or a PC or whatever, and other devices also. I, I will come to that. Um, reading sessions are very much shorter than for a traditional book. Uh, you read a comic book in 30 minutes or so, makes it different. It comes in a series, where, so you have episodes, you, 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 you get into a series. And then uh, you, you, you also have the, uh, the fact that uh, we are based on visual content, which makes it also quite different and possibly more attractive. Um, thirdly, uh, we can also see that uh, there is, uh, uh, in many places, uh, the emergence of new formats, digital native formats, webtoons, webcomics, all these uh, forms of digital native content uh, gr based on graphic stories is coming up, and we need, we want to, add, to, to, to welcome this content within our platform. And fourthly, uh, we believe that uh, uh, also when you look at uh, Japan or the USA, pure players, people like ourselves doing uh, graphic stories and, uh, and only graphic stories, uh, are really leading the marketplace, as opposed to generalists like uh, people selling at the same time comic books and e-books. We believe that effectively specialists are really uh, should be leading the market and will, will be leading the market. So our promise to user is really to uh, give um, access anytime, anywhere, on any device, on graphic stories. I use uh, the word graphic stories because there is not one word to, to, uh, to, uh, um, to, 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 uh, to, to mean at the same time manga, uh, comic books, bande dessinée, 
web comics and webtoon. And this is one of the issues illustrating also what, what sort of market we are in. Basically, we want to give uh, access to all this content in all different languages. Currently, we operate in French, we operate in, uh, and we have a French catalog uh, with 26,000 uh, comic books. Uh, we also operate in English, in Flemish and Dutch, and we will open a German operation by this uh, year end. Our mission to, to uh, publishers is to increase and multiply the number of readings. Uh, often, uh, publishers think in terms of sales. Actually, we prefer to think in terms of uh, readings. And, uh, and that's one of our goals, is actually to expand the number of readings for uh, comic books and, uh, and series uh, published by, by, by publishers. So we are, we are really at the heart of this uh, comic book industry. Uh, why is that? It's because uh, our shareholders are mm, coming from this industry, uh, basically uh, uh, comic book publishers on one side and the number, number one book retailer uh, chain in France. And what we do is that we give multiple access to readers for content. And actually, we are adding up all the time new channels. New channels. For instance, I can tell you that we are currently developing uh, on top, I, I didn't say, of, but I should have said that we are operating already on the web, on, on the web of course. We have our apps and selling in-apps on iOS and Android. We are developing currently Android TV uh, for uh, smart TVs. And also we are developing for Nintendo Switch. We will be on the Nintendo Switch eShop uh, very soon. We also operate a bit with two different uh, business models, item selling, the usual uh, thing, and also we have a subscription model, which we believe is really uh, one of the future, at least, or, yeah, an important thing for the future for the development of the marketplace. Subscription, uh, unlimited access to a, a certain number of, uh, of uh, content. And very importantly, we believe that what makes the difference also between, uh, between e traditional e-books and, and, and comic books is the player, a specific player. And this is something which uh, we consider as uh, one of our main assets, uh, actually, because uh, in this player, you need to offer, uh, uh, as I mentioned, we have different formats, uh, manga, comic books, webtoons, webcomics. So you need to uh, offer the uh, users the possibility of, of course, zooming in, zooming out, but also to, uh, to, uh, to, um, to, to switch, uh, to, um, to slide uh, uh, from left to right or from right to left, also to do a vertical scrolling downwards, upwards, um, so that's very important to, uh, to give this, uh, this um, mastering to the user, whatever the, the device is. And what we've done also is that we have adapted the content we add from the publisher, traditional publisher, in order to make it uh, readable on smartphones. We've designed a small tool that we call Easy Comics, which makes uh, uh, comic books readable on the panel-by-panel -panel view uh, on the smartphone. And also, this makes it easy to, uh, to, uh, to read uh, webtoons that are, of course, uh, uh, designed for, for, for smartphones. So basically, our value proposition to, user, uh, to users are, is, a, is, a, is, of course, a, a, summary, a summary of what I've mentioned before. And if I just want to um, share with you one figure, is that last year, we, um, uh, well, the readers on Isneo have read nearly 2 million comic books on our platform. And the next step for us uh, are, of course, having more albums, more long languages, because, if, of course, we, we have to be uh, uh, multilingual in many aspects and, have, uh, and gather the largest possible catalog of, uh, of um, graphic stories. And basically, what we are adding to is uh, a rich digital comic book experience uh, comprising all that I have mentioned before, and this is what we, we, we're trying to do. I think that was 10 minutes, no? <laughs> Thank you very much. Here we are. Giuseppe Ciancia from Berti Comics. Um, uh, we are a company, uh, we are about digital comics, uh, of course. And we, our story started 
eight years ago when we wanted to organize just a contest to find a new Italian comic book artist. And we, we started to wonder about how to organize it. Uh, about, uh, because <laughs> printing comics was expensive for us, that we were <laughs> uh, quite young and we were not a company. And about how to make this comic be uh, read by the audience. Uh, and that's why we make this contest digital. Uh, in a site called Verticalismi, in which the comics were not divided in page, but they were just vertical files you had to scroll down when you had uh, to, to read them. Uh, this contest, uh, contest was quite successful, uh, and the artists were so uh, enthusiastic, and they kept sending us their comics even after the contest finished. So we decided to turn the site into a permanent site in which we were always, all day, uh, uh, discovering new talents and publishing their comics. Uh, we won many prizes in Italy and we started to be like, um, known on it Italian comicdom. Uh, and Except this, in the other end, we were unsatisfied about how graphic novels in Italy were released in digital. Because many publishers didn't release at all, who released, who was releasing bad files in bad, not optimized format, giving a bad uh, reading experience to their customers. And that's why we decided to use our expertise in web comics, in digital comics, to found a company in which we were uh, using our knowledge to optimize the, the, the reading experience for the users. We want to close the gap between, between what is, for us, a good ride, reading, reading experience about digital comics and what the market was offering when we started. How we do that? Well, we kept doing that, publishing our comics in digital. All the graphic novels that were on paper, published on paper on pages, we made them on a vertical format in which you just have to scroll down the pages. Why, why this is important? Because, um, first of all, you know, comics has a fixed layout with text that is quite small. And format of some of the most important comics industries are um, format of comics is bigger than the screen of tablets and for sure is much bigger than iPhones. So we had to find a way to make it, uh, to make these comics easily uh, read. Uh, why this uh, vertical way for us is important? First of all, because uh, without the division in page, you just always use 100% the uh, of the screen of your device to read. And without dividing them on pages, you can simply reduce the bounders on the sides to have always the maximum of the dimension of the screen on your comics. Uh, consider also that the proportion of, a, uh, of the page of the comic can change comic by comic, and also the proportion of the screen change device by devices. So it's uh, almost, uh, it's, you have to be really lucky if the proportion of the screen, of, of the proportion of the page of your comic is the same of the tablet. And anyway, it doesn't count, uh, it, it, it can happen for a, a book and not for another. And in this way, just, in this way, uh, yes, we, we decided to found this company. Uh, with this uh, reading way of uh, <laughs> new way of reading comics, not divided in page, pages, just scrolling down. It's also important because um, in many other ways, if you publish them on 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 pages, maybe depending of the, the shape of the page, you can have you you maybe you have to do some movements like you have the device in this position. Turn the panel, all, all the pages on widescreen, and you have to turn it. 
But in this way, we, you have just to scroll down. Always the same movement. Uh, okay, so we opened our e-commerce. We started to uh, co-work with the most important publisher in Italy. Uh, we developed our app for iOS, Android, Mac OS, Windows, and we have we have mm, this mm, we have this mm, e-commerce. You you buy the comics, you receive them on a cloud, and you always have them on your cloud. You can download in each moment uh, your comic that you want to read on your device. Um, yes, we have more than 1,000 uh, books on our catalogs, including some of the best-selling authors uh, in Italy. Um, 60 series, including some of uh, uh, ideal properties that maybe you know, like The Walking Dead or Outcast, that are also found in TV series. Uh, these are our app that are currently released, Verticomics, that is our main app. And Shockdown for You is um, another kind of project made in collaboration with a specific publisher, because one of the services we offer is that we offer our technology to all the publishers that want to enter in this market. So a specific app for all the publishers that they want, e-commerce for specific e-commerce uh, made uh, for publisher that they want. Uh, about e-commerce, we always use our data that we gather from our user to improve them, the layout, about how to go page by page to uh, improve the sales. And we offer this expertise to our partner. And some other apps that we are developing, including uh, one with a subs subscription model, and yes, these are some of the services we offer to our partners. We distribute for other platforms, we edit original, original contest, uh, contents, and, we, uh, we, and other services like developing app, e-commerce, and everything for who wants to. Um, yes, our, our, our current marketing strategies is based on emails, like we have um, some good uh, <laughs> some e e on emails and social media strategies, like where we uh, have a really profit f profitable model with Facebook ads. Uh, our mailing strategy is based on weekly sales, automa uh, yes, automatic conversion protocol, and offers. Uh, offers are quite interesting because they bring to us also some uh, customers uh, that usually don't uh, use to read comics in digital. And, and it's good for the publisher, as, my <laughs> as it was told before, because uh, they can promote their comics and keep selling on paper if they want. And w what more? Yes, we uh, gather data from our user. And we divide them in classes, because we also offer free content contents. Uh, free contents are made uh, to be easily read on smartphones. So usually people start to use our app on smartphones. And then they pass uh, using them on their tablet or laptop for the comics that are uh, maybe too long to be written on smartphone or because of the layout is quite not the best idea to read on smartphone. And uh, mm, yes, uh, we use social, as I said. Uh, yes, we gather data to make specific offers to the users. Uh, uh, for, going on segmentation. And yes, we are trying to expand uh, our company in, uh, with new. Uh, titles and introducing self-publishers uh, and, uh, yes, with cost, co co cost and sales and, uh, yeah, I would like to, about um, some, yes, I would like to also speak about co comic, uh, comic digital market uh, currently is quite small. The market share of comics is like 
all the all the comic um, all, all the market share is of 200 million per year. The one uh, the the digital uh, 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 yes I can see there yes and uh, no no not now not now it's okay. This is our team, it's okay. <laughs> and the digital shell of this uh, market is currently like 1% of the market. Just the good publisher that really uh, uh, <laughs> want to increase in this market and they are doing their best, they have like 4 or 5% of the, their sales on the digital market. And, but there is a lot of uh, space in this market because for this, uh, pub, let's talk about a specific publisher. They were in there in Amazon, Kindle, iBooks. They were um, constantly grow up a bit year by year. But when we enter like a new channel, they improved the tier of an amount of sales that is exactly what we sold that year. That means that the, the, it's easy to gain space now. The important is you just try to do, no? Uh, it, un minuto. Uh, okay, that, and, and okay, that is okay, we finished. This is our team, these are our um, advisor, <laughs> and Thank you for everything and for your time. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I would like to pose two fast questions for the three of you. The first one is linking to a previous conversation. Yesterday, we were talking about the IP as a raw material uh, for the publishing. Uh, I think it's more obvious in the case of uh, uh, Kasayuki that you mix uh, in this borderline content uh, between the image and the text, which is the comic. Uh, common properties, both for TV, for instance, TV shows and uh, books, or let's say comics, but I don't know if, uh, for instance, I don't know if Dragon Ball was first a TV show or a paper, a manga comic. How do you manage this property? I mean, oh. do you have this kind of strategy in, in your case, or you are just focused on, you know, reading comics and just like that? Giuseppe. Well, um... <laughs> Yes, uh, we have this strategy. It's not a priority now. We already uh, released some uh, intellectual properties, some original comics that we... Uh, some of them. But now it's not a priority, not because it's not important. Of course it's important. We can just um, look what uh, Netflix is doing now with um, co-working with Mark Miller, that is the most important comic book author probably about creating new ideal properties. Um, now we are focusing on uh, co-working, um, on, on distributing uh, not original con contents, um, because we have to go up a bit be before to invest some money in new original uh, properties, but of course is is uh, is the way. Like creating new original content is is the, the the right way to see on the future, and Netflix is doing it uh, quite well now. Mm -hmm. And look, is that uh, something that is on your desk or? Yeah, we 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 are a. We are a distribution company. We are not a publishing company. So we, know, we, we want to be clear on where we stand in the value chain. So uh, basically what we are currently doing is that we are somehow doing some publishing uh, on Webtoons, translating from uh, Korean content uh, into uh, French, English, and other languages, because there is no uh, currently, a lot of uh, webtoon production uh, in, in, in France and in Europe in general. So we want to uh, push the publishers and to, 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 to help uh, um, 
uh, native uh, uh, native uh, uh, publishers uh, in the digital to to really uh, invest in in webtoons and web comics so that we can distribute that after that we will still be looking for exclusive content because we believe that effectively that's important to have uh, some bits of exclusive content but basically that's not our goal our goal is to really uh, embrace the whole category of graphic stories, as I mentioned before, so helping also the small uh, uh, authors, the, the, the young guys who have a blog and, uh, and, and do some web comics in their, in their, in their, uh, on their own. So we, we want to distribute all that and to make it available all over the, well, Europe to start with, <laughs> and we'll see. So that's, that's our goal, really. So, Kasayuki, do you have completely split of the uh, mm -hmm. anime and, and um, manga? From the publishing company point of view, for over the 20, 30 years, uh, like uh, Dragon Ball, One Piece, uh, we first concentrate to make a good manga. So we didn't think about the future, about animation or real movies. We just think about how to make the manga more, more enjoyable. And after that, uh, the normal business is uh, make some collaboration with the TV company and other company and make some kind of animation committee and then uh, start the animation business. That's the basic normal business for the publishing company. But these years, uh, some of the animation is uh, based on from the television game or light novel, and some of the story was born from animation. So the business is uh, different business. Business has born, and there are several ways to uh, build the whole market. I think, but on the other hand, the normal business is still uh, exists. But we have to think about a lot of way to build the whole business. I think. I think. And the second one was, I was thinking about your UX approach to, you, you, you want to know very well your consumers, what kind of data or research do you do, you do? and do you have this kind of text, test A, B for the UX uh, testing uh, in your uh, app or in your website? Do, do you have a real solid information in, and, and a strategy in order to lead uh, the, the, I mean, the, the, the sales and so on. Uh, about, um, I'm, I'm not sure I got the, uh, the question. You, you, were, you were explaining to us uh, about your app uh -huh. and how do you approach to, your, to the user. Do you change a lot? Uh, your uh, experience, uh, your designing for, uh, for the uh, app? Do you research the way that the users buy or, or consuming streaming your app, for instance, or your websites? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, first of, first of all, yes, we choose this way because we were unsatisfied as a reader uh, from the other ways that, was, that, that were proposed in Italy. And, and, and the other element that we used to choose was the en enthusiasm of our cast, uh, readers uh, for this way of reading. Uh, after we uh, adopted it, uh, we, yes, uh, we, uh, we still have um, w w the percentage of people that prefer the page uh, on our customer, uh, that prefer the uh, swiping pages instead of scrolling down is really, really, really low. Because we have, like, I don't know, uh, 
20,000 valid emails, and uh, if I remember, that five people wrote us for having, uh, for having, because they prefer to have pages. The traditional experience. Yes, yes. But it's not that it's not traditional, our experience. We uh, no. change, uh, we modified something on, on the way of reading comics to we modified more to change less in the experience at the end. Because if you just take the PDF and you put online and you, and you uh, read the comics, that experience is different from uh, reading a comic. You have to change, uh, modify the files, the, the way how you read it, mm. to have a traditional experience. This is the point, the main point for us. Okay. Look, yeah, we'll take I, I on think that. it's worse. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I think that's, uh, that basically um, it's, it's not the same experience as reading a book anyway. So we have to adapt it somehow. So it, it's not better, it's not worse, it's different. Uh, it's, but it's adapted to the device. Like, uh, uh, like in the movies, I mean, the director, he, uh, when he shoots the movies, he's, uh, he, he forces the, 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 the movie on the, in the cinema theaters. He doesn't think about. Are we, are we, what it gives on the, when, when, it's read, uh, when it's read on the, on the smartphone. So, so it's a question of adaptation. So we, we, we do that. We have, a, yeah, of course, a, 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 a tool uh, enabling this. Uh, and otherwise, on the UX, you were mentioning, so, we, of course, we are adjusting all the time and, and adjusting also um, to, to, to the, the different devices we have because there are so many different devices so, so meaning that we have to make, uh, to, to make the, the Isneo service experience uh, approximately the same across all formats, all, all different uh, devices, which is in, in itself a sort of a challenge because uh, they're not all the same. And so we, we, we have to, to, to keep on adjusting all the time and trying to improve, not always improving, I must say, because sometimes we, we, are, we are also, uh, uh, we have to do things and uh, we have to, uh, to, um, to, to change also uh, things, but, but basically it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a never, it's never, uh, never ending story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can... Okay. Um, first we uh, started Jump Bookstore and Margaret Bookstore. We found a data about the teenagers, uh, almost the teenagers read. Yes, they have. They had smartphones, so they only read free trial manga, but they never buy. <laughs> and the peak of the people who buy the manga, the peak was around 30 years old to 40 years old. Uh, so that means um, start working and have their own credit card and uh, the people who can buy it. Some money? Some, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, so that's why um, we thought from that data uh, the free trial is really important, so that's why we launched uh, Jump Plus, which has a lot of free manga. Is that 10% or not so much? 10% of the content as a free sample? Uh, Jump Plus free sample is not 10%. Uh, it's less than that. Less, uh, over than. Um, on the free corner, we can read 100%. Uh, but not all, all of the volume. Uh, for example, if the manga... One month, for instance. Yes, one month. And uh, if the volume is over 30 volumes, we can only uh, read uh, one to 10 volume for one month or two months. So, but we have to continue to provide uh, a different way to get the new readers. If we don't get the new readers, uh, maybe they will never read manga forever. So for teenagers to provide them 
free manga, we thought it was important. So that's why we start a new kind of uh, digital bookstore. And on the other hand, there is a lot of a kind of another uh, free uh, manga site, like uh, Comico, Webtoon, and uh, yes. Are they in different yes, languages? Yes. Mm. Okay. Is Comico is in yeah. Japan? Comico is in Japan, but ba ba based from Korea, yeah. Korean manga. And I, I would maybe add that uh, we have in this subscription model, we have the benefit of really um, um, going in, into, in, deeply into what people read, actually read. And that's very interesting uh, as an experience to see what they read. And actually, <laughs> what, what the, main, the main thing, I, I believe, is that people don't know what to read starting with. Mm -hmm. So our job is really to aim discovery, mm -hmm. and that's why we, we feel the benefit of, uh, of um, uh, discussing with uh, publishers also how to uh, merchandise and promote their content, because uh, in France only, I think it's uh, 5,000 new releases in comic books and mangas being released every year. So that's huge. So you can't possibly uh, have a view over the whole catalog. Therefore, uh, the, the, our job, part of our job, is to really push content to people mm -hmm. and to help them selecting what they believe would, uh, would fit their taste. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that we ran really out of time, so I can ask uh, if anybody has a question, we can uh, let this uh, for later on, okay? Let's uh, move to the next round, by, uh, moderated by Arancha, Arancha Larrauri, please.